Hey, Kendall. Hey, Max. Guess what we have today? Um, probably not cholera. <laughs> what? You're so zany. Okay, so <laughs> get this. Yeah, zany. Okay. <laughs> get this, get this. What am do, I getting? Do you remember a long time ago when we used to talk about toys a lot? Um, On the internet, because we still talk about toys a lot. I was going to say, like, you mean like yesterday? <laughs> All right, well... We used to do this thing once, <laughs> where we said we're gonna have we're gonna have the big gym figure of the week. Oh yeah, and it turns out to be the big gym figure of every like two years when we get around to it. <laughs> uh, today we have Professor Ob. Ob. O B B. O B B. That's right. Yeah. Let's take a long look at Professor Ob here. Majestic okay. Professor Ob. Yeah. I, uh, okay, first first thing I notice is the cane knife. Well, is it a cane knife, though, or is it just an umbrella? And the size of his hands compared to his body. He's He's got proportionate hands, I think. I think the right hand's small. Yeah, you know what? He's got that, like, Stalin <laughs> hand going on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, okay, the pants... I like the pant. I like the stripes. Very the pant stripe is very slimming. Very, exactly. Yeah. Very slimming for for him. He's 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 really up with the fall fashion this year with the now, color, with the scarf, and the. <laughs> you can tell he's somewhere cold. Really, you could tell by the freaking I Swiss can... Alps in the background. <laughs> it's probably not. It's probably not the warmest there. Now I've noticed something that you might not notice on, upon first glance. Oh yeah. I think he's in a castle. Or really? standing on top of a castle. Yeah, look, look where the box art like would go if they didn't have the insert. Yeah. See, see up there in the top right corner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's totally in a castle. Yeah, they're at a castle. Okay. He, he, yeah, totally. <laughs> and who's he laughing at? Um, anyone who doesn't have a scarf like him. <laughs> oh man. All right. So I have another problem with this. Here. Yeah. What's that? Uh, I'm afraid to have a problem because he is the mad doctor. Right. I don't want him to. I don't want him to put ill come on at, me. Come after you. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like you 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 go through the trouble to have the the sweet jacket. Yeah. The pinstripe pants. No belt, by the way. I always there is a belt. Never mind. Okay, so you go through all that trouble, and he just has like a t-shirt on. Well, I mean, it, well. <laughs> It's true though. The action figure, it, you know, they give you this this great, um, this this great picture of like this cool guy, and then you get like d dude wearing a white d d button up t not even a button up. It's just like a white <laughs> it's just a t shirt. It's just like Hanes, white tagless. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't even have a, he doesn't even have a proper belt. That's just the zip tie that's holding him in the box. Is that the zip tie? Oh, for a second. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't even have a... He's just got, like, pirate pants, basically. <laughs> Pinstripe pirate pants. You think he works on his eyebrows? Um... I don't think those are God-given. <laughs> they might be, dude. They might. I don't think they're fleek. <laughs> his cartoon beard doesn't match the action figure beard. No, his cartoon beard has, like, kind of a angle to it. His He's just got a flat beard. I, I It's like... The the box art is what he paid somebody to draw of him and hang up in his room, and then the I, one in the box is the real one. I think Mattel realized that hey, ain't nobody wants to play Professor Ob, so let's <laughs> let's let's hype him up a little bit with the box art. <laughs> and look at this guy. He looks his action figure looks physically tired. Like who wants to play with a tired action figure, dude? <laughs> Look at that face. That's the face of a tired man. Yeah, he's, he's like, mm, I just want to eat my Chinese. <laughs> mm, uh, this cable box is not working. Uh, mm, this TiVo, uh, I had it. I'm in my lounge pants. <laughs> I'm in my lounge pants. <laughs> lounge pants and my cop <laughs> shoes, and I'm good to go, man. <laughs> like, those are like detective shoes. Man. Yeah, they are. He just wants to sit around the pool. I love his aliases, though. Um... I, yeah, it's hard to tell if they're aliases or or if they're like other languages to s sell to the foreign kids. The Mad Doctor. Well, why would he have two English names? I mean, maybe they're just telling you what he is. The the do <laughs> Le Doctor Fowl, Professor Wan Wanshin. Wanshin? 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 
what, whatever, Wanson? This one's my favorite. Los Sanziato Puzzle. Den Galan <laughs> Doctorn. Okay. Well. I mean, you maybe, know, maybe you should drop the doctor or Professor Ob and just stick with, like, the freaking the foreign names because those are way more intimidating. Those are way cooler. Like, if this box instead, like, where it says Professor Ob, it said Los Sanziato Puzzle. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, with the Pazo, I almost think, like, <laughs> you know, this it's raining outside. You know the wind is blowing hard, all right? Because look at the scarf. That scarf is up. It is. I think this scarf is just reacting to his, like, sudden jerk towards... You, <laughs> you know, think maybe whoever. there's a helicopter? Well, you know, possibly. <laughs> I mean, he's hunched over like he's trying to dodge those blades. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe there's a helicopter. It could be. It's actually raining outside my window, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. I wonder if the mic will pick it up. I can hear a little bit. It just adds atmosphere. Okay. <laughs> Even though he's in a snowy climate, the rain. Hey, it might it might snow hard. It might snow soft. Um, you don't know. We're not there. We're, we're not snowologists. <laughs> snowologists? We're not... We're not snow, snow learnt. <laughs> snow learnt. <laughs> we don't get none of that white stuff from the heavens in Arizona. Mm -mm. D does it snow over where you are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it snowed where I where I was living, but I moved back into the hot, hot desert where snow was just a myth. It didn't snow like where where Professor Ob is at. No. That looks serious. You know. You know Whoa. why it's not. Whoa! Hey, my phone laughed at that. Okay. All right, we're good. Richard Dreyfus, <laughs> by the way, that's an open invitation to show up on our show anytime. Oh yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be great. Uh, anyway, so where we start? Um, I was saying that this guy, he, he looks like the kind of man who controls the weather. Uh, or he's working on it. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got like some sort of space station death ray device that's gonna burn a hole through the ozone or some gubbins. Yeah, yeah. He looks yeah. like that kind of guy. I can see that. Maybe it's, it's he's had a few like trial and error things where he's accidentally killed a lot of innocent people. Right. And it it didn't start out that way. Like he started out innocent, you know. Like he's actually trying to like grow crops where crops can't grow or something. Yeah, like but he, Uganda he, or he got power hungry because he realized oh. I can kill a lot of people with my, with my power strain. My power strain. <laughs> with my weather bar. <laughs> New film, Power Strain, coming <laughs> out 2016. That's right. Power strain in a world where crops can't grow in places where they can't grow. <laughs> yeah, that didn't, riveting. That didn't go very far, did it? <laughs> That's a good tagline, man. I don't know why they haven't hired you yet. <laughs> <laughs> What are you waiting for, NBC Universal? NBC, yeah, seriously. I mean, I'm right here. You know where I live. You have my number, okay? This, this untapped wealth and and well of... My demands are very, very low. My contract fees are low. I just require Scott Bakula to give me back rubs every day in my you know private quarters. That's not too much to ask. You're Universal, for God's sakes. You can pull that off, all you right? You want to put asses in the seats. This is how it's done, boys. This is how you do if you want to make those sales, those international sales in the Chinese market, you Oof. get me on board. Man. Yeah. So, so anyway, this dude this dude looks like um, he, he's he's working on that kind of like doomsday weather device. And yeah. he's up in the Alps, um, you know, isolated in his in his weather fortress. And then Al Gore shows up on a, on a Black Hawk helicopter. And he like slides open the door. And he's on like the megaphone like, oh, you need to stop global warming. Bo, 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 you know, maybe I couldn't help but think that maybe this is Captain Nemo, and he actually yeah. didn't die. You know, I was getting that vibe too. That he yeah. totally looks like on his on his downtime that he he goes and he does Captain Nemo impersonations at like kids' parties and things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. this guy shocks. He's so melodramatic. It's a combo of the pants and the face. All things happen in God's good time. <clears throat> um, that, great film, by the way. Wherever it looks slippery, where he's walking. 
Yeah, well, those cap shoes will, will sustain him. They're the non-slick. There's a little too much shimmer on that tile. I think it's just a little icy, which is probably why he's standing like that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> so you're saying it's Captain? It's just Captain Nemo? Yeah, and he just it, moved. He's done with the submarine life. And now he's moved to the space life because it's just like the ocean but without water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's tired of water. He's tired of a giant squid. But what about the space squid, Max? Uh, he's he's yet to encounter one of them. Hmm. And he's got that knife staff for the tentacles, if he does. He just hmm. whack him down to a nub, he says. Whack him down to a nub, <laughs> he says. You know, the more I look at it, both hands look little. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I put my foot down. Both hands look a little weird. Maybe the maybe the sleeve on the on the on his left arm is big. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. I don't have anything else to say about Professor Ob. I don't either. I, I think that um, as far as a action figure goes, yes. Um he looks really sad. Yeah. The hat helps. I don't know if and, he comes with a hat. And I don't mean like he looks sad as in poor quality. I mean, he look at his face. He physically looks like he's just like... He's tired, oh, man. man. He's tired. <laughs> he's been fighting Al Gore, do dodging, you know, the U.S. government. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, he's got he's to break that ozone. Big Jim's after him. Big Jim, oh, Big Jim is after him. He's coming for him. He's got he's to gotta get his plan going. He's going right for the freaking, right for the taint. And it's really hard to do when it's a little slippery out. That ob taint. That ob taint. <laughs> that sweet, sweet Dr. Ob taint. Professor Ob. I can't even remember his stupid name. <laughs> Professor Ob. Keep wanting to call him Dr. Ob. Oh, man. Well, there we go, guys. That's it. That's all I have to say. You remember the one time ABBA got me a virus? I do remember the one time ABBA got you a virus.